We're back, two more battles with the Groudon Dalga team. I did actually already film one, we went one on one, but uh, the video messed up, so <laughs> here we are again. Uh, slight change to this one, if you did see the last video, you'd see that we got quite fortunate in our first game um, due to me misremembering the, well, just totally forgetting that we had some special defense drops. And our Groudon survived the plus two Astral Barrage from Shadow Rider Calyrex which has a 75% chance to knock us out. So I've actually re-EV'd the Groudon, because I think that's a really nice benchmark for us to, to survive, considering we, we usually bring Groudon in late game. And uh, against those those teams that have a, have the Calyrex, usually Ash and Calyrex, they, they do a fairly good job of stalling out the Trick Room, so it's, it's a real situation we could find ourselves in. So Groudon's a little bit weaker physically. Uh, we're at 180 attack EVs instead of 252. It doesn't affect any calcs as far as I know, and I think those special defense EVs are worth it. So let's give it a go and see if we can get our wins. We have our first opponent, and this is an interesting one. We've got a Koga Zashin team, but they've got a Kabutox. Um, I think if we get Trick Room up, we'll probably win. The Serena could be annoying. If it unders probably will underspeed our Dialga. And we'll probably, probably have some kicking moves that will be super effective against us. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I think if we get Trick Room up, we should win. So let's give it a go. We're going to go straight with the Trick Room route. And of course, you know, the, against this sort of team, the, these typical Koga's action teams, you're going to want to go Trick Room every single time. Even if, probably even if they've got a Moongus, to be honest with you. Because you can't match their Tailwind in time. Um, so they'll just Tailwind up. They'll, they'll end up switching that ass out. Uh, by, by activating the, the eject button. I mean, to be honest, you don't need to go to Trick Room. You can fight them because you've got Dialga, right? And Dialga is decent against uh, Kyogre. But yeah, more often than not, you want to go to Trick Room in this matchup. So let's give it a go. What are they going to lead? Uh, they're going to lead... They're going to lead the classic. Tornado's Kyogre. With Serena in the back, Serena Zasha in the back. As much as I'd love to see Cubby Tops, I think those that's what they go for. They might even lead Serena, but I think they might have it in the back to switch in on a on a fake out maybe. Oh look at that! Have you ever seen this pairing before? Okay, so perfect. I mean, well, I say perfect. The only way this goes wrong is if they go for like an ice beam into like a slot and they get a freeze, it will, it will still do a decent chunk of damage. Um, but hopefully they've got Thunder or Max Lightning. Quite often these teams do go for a water spout, they just go straight for it. As I was saying. And... Do I wanna get, do I wanna get Groudon in here and lower the accuracy? of the hurricane. But then I can't activate my policy. We're gonna go for Incineroar. This year, okay, it goes to the Incineroar slot, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that actually. Oh, it does get the confusion. That's not good. So th this could be this could be a, a real problem if we hit ourselves in confusion. But we're gonna make the play anyway. And do they protect Koga? Or do they switch it? We're going to go straight for the Wormwind. Again, the, the correct play in this situation is for my opponent switching Zashian. They never do it against Trick Room. Kabutops. They've actually bought the Kabutops. Shiny as well. So at the very least, we're about to lower their, uh, lower their attack, even if we don't activate our own weakness policy. And 
and yeah, it just goes to show that they're in some trouble if they're bringing in Swift Swim Cubby Tops <laughs> in, into Trick Room. So they just use Protect. Come on in, Sin. Unfortunately, it's a self confusion. Doesn't, I, I think it's irrelevant at the moment anyway. Focus Sash. Which is good to know, so that means it's not on, not on the uh, Tornadus. So actually what we're going to go for is our Brick Break and our Wormwind. Now that we've revealed the Wormwind, they might switch in Zashin. I don't think they do. They might do. We'll still spike. I think. I think we're we're totally safe to make this play. Oh, they do bring in the Zashin. So this was the right the right call. All day long. And that's a good switch from my opponent. That's a really nice switch. Let's protect. Come on, in, Sim. So if we'd have gone for the weakness policy activation here, then Zashin would, would be gone. Do I want to activate my weakness policy at this point? I mean, it's certainly not necessary. Do they switch the Zashin back out into Koga? Should I Wormwind that slot? <laughs> hmm. How many turns left of uh, Trick Room? Two turns. Okay, so... I think we... I actually think the right play is probably to switch Dalga out for Groudon and go for a Flare Blitz. Uh, into Zashian. But no. Come on, Incineroar. What is this? They, they... Is, what is this? Gen 5? What is it? Gen 6? Before they, before they, uh, nerfed Confusion. So yeah, really unfortunate with, uh, these Confusion turns. Does that knock us out? One HP. <laughs> okay, so this is this is still a very tricky spot, of course. Very, very tricky. We're gonna swap. Yeah, no, we're not we're not. We're not playing this game anymore with the confusion turns. We're gonna swap out to Layas. Flash cannon into the Zashin, which is probably gonna switch for uh, Koga, you've got to imagine. Or could switch to Layas, uh, not Layas, sorry, it's Tornadus to get their, their Talwin back up. Yeah, so that is what they go for. Can they stop us? Can they stop us? I don't think they can. I don't think they can stop us going for another trick room because they, they didn't try to taunt us the first time. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy to make this play. The cover tops does get access to, I mean, they might try to flinch us with rock slide. It also gets access to fighting type moves as well. So no, they, they, they have nothing. They, apart from the rock slide, which we avoid.
And again, still not over because they have Dynamax option. Um, I spoke too soon, it is, it's all over apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there was any way for much, there wasn't really much of a way for my phone to come back, I, I don't think. Um, GG, that's how it goes, that's, that's how you get the win. That first turn ally switch, you go for it, you get your trick room up and they can't claw it back. We have our next opponent, it's a Groudon Eveltal team. That's going to be a tough one. Charizard as well, yeah. So what makes this particularly difficult is the Groudon is also the Eveltal. Charizard could be tricky, as can the Gastrodon. Now, how do we want to do this? Because this is the kind of team that maybe you would consider trying to bring Charizard and Venusaur to. What do I want to do? I want to. I'd, I'd love for this to be a best of three but it's not, so. We're gonna do this, we're gonna go Latias, Venusaur, and we're not gonna bring Dialga or Incineroar, which could be a bit of a problem because if they lead the Grim Snarl, which I, I think they might, then we can't break their screens. And of course, Incin matches fairly well. Well, not, it doesn't really match well into them, but it, it can somewhat hinder both my opponents restricted Pokemon to some degree. Let's see, Reggie Lucky Charizard. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I believe I can make this play. Oh no, wait, I can't make this play because we get we get hit with the ally switch. Oh, sorry, we get we get our eject button activated. So we can't make that play. What we can do though is make this play. Get Groudon in immediately. I mean, the right play is probably just to go after the Charizard in hindsight. Try to sleep the Charizard, if anything. Since we're switching in the Groudon anyway. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, in hindsight, not the correct play, I think. I mean, it could always be safety goggles Charizard. The fact that they've led it and they're staying in with it makes you think it's possible. But of course, they're almost always life orb, so we'll find out. So, Tress, Scarf, Regieleki. Interesting. So, whatever comes in here is going to have a sleep powder aimed this way. Opponents taking their time. They're not sure what to bring in. They don't know who to bring in the Avelt or the, or the uh, Groudon. The Avelt Okay. Yeah, I think we'd lose. I think we've just lost the game. Is there a way back from this?
Well, 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 well. What do I want to do here? Do I want to just want to get Charizard in? I think I do. I mean, I've got a couple of options there, literally. <laughs> but I mean, I could have got Latias in, gone for an ally switch and, and max the Groudon. I think I want to max Charizard though, truth be told. We'll switch Growler now. Into Latias. We'll probably get our reject button activated and we might even eat a foul play in that, into that slot as well. So this is unfamiliar territory for sure. And this is why we have Venus on the team mostly. It's, it's for these matchups where um, Trickrim doesn't seem... I don't, I don't think my opponent's gonna let us get up Trickrim so readily. Although actually, I think we could have based on their lead. Uh, but then, of course, you're gonna miss sometimes, right? So I think Wildfire would have got the job done there but I did want to boost our speed. Because I think my opponent's going to do the same thing. So much damage. And a Snarl, I imagine. Yeah, hits both. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's, I, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Especially if they've got Sucker Punch, then that's definitely it. No way they don't have Sucker Punch. And yeah, that's one way to lose. That's one way you can lose for sure. Get, get, um, sometimes when you rely on the Venusaur, of course, doesn't pan out. And this is one of those times. I mean, to make things even worse. Even if I did, did get a double KO here. And Groudon somehow stays healthy like a... Uh, a heat wave dodge or a blast burn dodge. Then we're basically hoping for that we A outspeed their ground on and B can flinch it to death. And that's assuming their Red Electric doesn't have some kind of uh, non electric attacking move. And while we're waiting for this to run its course, which it's going now, 
And it just goes to show as well, like, I think that if you're unsure what to do with this team in team preview, just go trick room. Just, just go for the, for the regular uh, trick room route. Because I think we could have got out there quite easily against that opponent. Um, well, we ally switched turn one. They probably wildfire into what was the Dialga. Latias eats that up. And, uh, and then we probably just win from there. Mm. But that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. You live and you learn. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one as well. You take care.